Hey everybody at LP Alusa, it's Gameragi. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you're wondering where Mirror's Edge is, uh, I'm actually just gonna continue that on my uh, own channel. So, yeah, I decided to start a new LP for this new channel, Bitrip Runner. It is very delightful, both musically and colorfully. Flea rainbows in your face. Don't eat them Skittles, man. So I can't really delete my data, so we're just gonna play over my other stuff. <laughs> yeah. The premise of this game is basically you're a little dude with a rainbow and you run and, you know, avoid obstacles, stuff like that. So you don't you don't actually control your running, you just control everything else, like jumping. And that's all you start with, which is pretty basic and delightful. I'm collecting these little golden pieces that uh, end up giving you a bonus level at the end. And that, that, uh, pink plus thing just amps up the music and gives you a cool trail of joy. It's already joyous and it's not even complete. Now it is Rainbow! Woohoo! Booyah! This game gets ridiculously difficult later on and I have yet to beat it, so... We'll see how far I get. <laughs> but see, I got all the gold pieces, so now we get to go to the bonus level. Which is... the bonuses are really ridiculous. And I've only 100%ed one of them, and that's this one. So let's see if I can do that again. <laughs> oh my god! Stuff like that just is crazy, man. And I apologize for the little frame skipping. I tried to get this game to run as smoothly as I could, but... That's all I can... Oh my god, I got that. That's the trickiest one right there. Right after that little cliff. Oh, booyah, I did it! That's like the only time I'll do it. There it is. Relish it! Booyah. Two exclamations for ultimate prize goodies. And a perfect score. Yeah! You can still get perfect scores on bosses because there's no gold there, so... And no bonus level. So I may get perfects on those, but I just, I'm not going to be getting a 100% bonus level ever again. <laughs> it just doesn't happen, man. Goodness, the music. Oh, it's so joyous. Bow, bow, skew, ba, bee, boo, skew it up, boob it up, beep it up. Ah, I screwed up. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so how you guys doing? It's uh, New Year 2012. Hope you made some resolutions and such. I sure didn't. I'm really bad at fulfilling those. But, uh, first step on achieving a goal is making one. See? That's how it works. Don't screw it up again, man. Now, the Bitrip Runner guy, he actually has, like, if you hold jump, he has, like, a little longer range. Like, I don't know, he takes longer to fall. <laughs> or he could just do little short jumps like that. See that? It's a little slurred to the side there. That's just how it works. And they don't really explain that to you, so it's kind of... you got to figure it out. <laughs> Alright, I've never 100% of this one. Let's see if I can do it. It'll be a miracle. Ah! Ah! Ow! See, I already missed one. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Jump! 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 Woo! Jump, 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 jump. Alright, let's stop saying jump. That's like the worst commentary ever. Yeah, I know, I know. I trained but I trained under um Einstein himself. He wasn't he wasn't such a great commentator either, but I missed one. 
one freaking goal. Oh well. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'm gonna make these videos. I, I guess I'll shoot for like 15 minutes. Or so this may be a pretty short series, but we'll see. Could be extremely long too if I fail it up, which is undoubtedly going to happen. Oh my god. I am not excited to go back to school, I'll tell you that much. Well, I guess you guys are already in school, huh? A lot of you. <laughs> For some reason, I get like this month-long vacation. That I end up just becoming extremely bored. And, uh... Guilty. I feel guilty because I should be doing things that I, I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not doing anything. I'm playing games. I'm playing this right now. That's not what I should be doing at all. Goodness gracious. Another retro challenge. They really should have music in these, I think. It's just a bunch of gold dingies. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't explain it, but I got a little dive thing. <laughs> And you can do that indefinitely, but sometimes it's hard to tell where you are, so... I don't tend to do it all the time. Yeah, okay. Balls to you, silly retro level. Oh, man. I am like... I'm, I'm brain dead right now. If you couldn't tell... I'm trying to think of what to talk about, but I have no idea. So let's talk about something completely and utterly random. Uh, let's see. So I went to Target the other day, right? And, uh... I don't know why, but it seems like every Target you go in... ...is just arranged... ...completely different. I mean, some, some Target stores have... ...the electronics in the back so that you have to pass all the other stuff on the way there. And it, and it you know, it's the, usually the most expensive stuff. This is my theory. They, they, it's really expensive stuff in the electronic sections. That's why they put it in the back. That way, if you shoplift, they have a longer distance to capture you, I guess. Because you have to go all the way to the front of the store. That's my theory. But anyway, yeah, I went to this Target, and there was an electronic section, like, right... Why did I jump? Oh, jeez, I got distracted. Okay. <laughs> it was right uh, near the entrance, and I was like, what? But they did have, like, a whole um, metal detector thing set up, like, as you went in. So, I guess you can buy them in the game area, or the electronics area. So that, I guess that solves that problem. But anyway, it was confusing to me, because I'm so used to going to the back of the store. <laughs> well, yeah, Target. Yeah, woo! I don't know how many of you guys overseas have Targets, but, uh... Pretty great, I gotta say. If you come to America, I, I recommend you just visit a Target. Or a Walmart, or a, you know... Panera Bread. Down, down, down. Down. Oh my god. We're gonna beat it this time, guys. I can feel it in my bones. The little bones inside my ear, like the anvil and the... Whatever the other bones are. <laughs> they have, like, weird names that are based after their shape or something. I don't know. Okay, Retro Challenge. Bring it on, you pot bellied sow, you. Leap, leap, duck, leap, leap, duck. I missed one. And I hit a stair. God dang it! Screw you, Retro Challenge! Woo, I fly away in the sky. That's what I do. Oh, introducing the kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. So yeah, you get more and more abilities as you play. It makes it a little bit more difficult. Oh, bounce, 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 
<laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry! Whoa, 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 skibbit skibbo. Ugh. Have you guys ever heard of, um. This may seem kind of strange, but there's, uh, whisper videos on YouTube. Just people whispering. <laughs> yeah, I know that sounds kind of strange, but it's really relaxing, actually. I've been, I've been watching those lately. Like, as I go to bed and stuff. It's, uh, pretty great. It's pretty great. If you're ever stressed out, check them out. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of a good one. Um... Whisper Crystal. She actually plays games in Whispers, which is crazy. Why did I... Burn my tooties! Ouch! Okay, so that's a really weird thing that I probably shouldn't have brought up, but there you go! And I think I'm just gonna end this part here, guys. So next time, we'll continue failing through Bit Trip Runner. <laughs> See you guys next week.